these scents got me pandering, paying for trips, diamonds on the neck, diamonds on the wrist. <laughs> holidays beauties welcome or welcome back to beauty with bella whether you guys are new or returning thank you so much for coming back i am bella and on this channel i talk about beauty mostly fragrances and today guys i have four scents that i purchased in 2021 that i feel like could have had me smoking out the window so if you guys are interested in hearing what i have to say or you just want to spend time with moi then keep on watching okay y'all so what do i mean by smoking out the window before i tell you please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload videos but literally there is a song if you guys haven't heard it i don't know why but it's by bruno mars anderson peck i think and silk sonic called smoking out the window and it's literally this song about um they're with this woman they're spending all this money on her and doing stuff for her kids and they thought she was one way but she was another and now they're smoking out the window and so basically they were disappointed with this woman and i was truly disappointed with four fragrances that i purchased this year Please do not take offense to this. I'm just putting that out there. This is my opinion. I am not saying these fragrances are terrible. They just didn't work for me. Okay? So, let's get into it. Some of these fragrances I don't have anymore. So, I'm just going to put a picture up for you guys and the notes. But the first one is Edo Aura by Lancome. I was super excited about this. One of my friends told me about this, Jean Marie, I still love you. And I just thought like, oh, Edo Aura? I read the notes, it has some salt in it, some jasmine, vanilla musk. I love the original Edo so much, like it's one of my favorites. And I just was like, okay, this has got to be good. This is, this is gonna be great. And I purchased a small bottle and I wore it and to give this fragrance some uh, props, it has amazing longevity. The performance is out of this world. Projection was great, but I, I could not take this fragrance. Like I literally smelled it all day long and it got on my nerves. It gave me a headache. The salty note in it, it just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know if I purchased a bad bottle, but Definitely, if we were in a relationship, I would be sitting somewhere thinking, how could she do this to me? Just a terrible, not terrible, it just, it wasn't a great experience for me. And so I returned it to Macy's. Sorry for you guys who love this fragrance, don't come for me, but it just wasn't a great fragrance for me. So yeah, Ido Aura didn't work for me. If it worked for you, let me know down in the comments below. If it didn't, let me know in the comments down below. Next fragrance, y'all. This fragrance, I feel like I could have paid for trips, paid the rent, diamonds on the neck, diamonds on the wrist, and I'm all alone because this fragrance is expensive. Even on the discount site, it was not a cheap fragrance. And I was so, so excited to get this fragrance. And it just, Ball the Freak by Barry Rado. So disappointed. Why do I still have it? Why haven't I decluttered it? Because I like the base of this fragrance. Like, I honestly love the base, but it's something about this fragrance that just gives me a headache. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that I don't get. Like, I smell it through the bottle. Even now, I like how it smells. But when I spray it on my skin, a headache just comes. 
and I don't like it. But once it really, really dries down, I actually really love it, which is why I still have it because I'm trying to figure out how could this work for me? How could it work for me? Do Should I really get rid of it? I don't know, but like now it smells good, but I was just so disappointed because when I sprayed it on me, I was like, oh no, 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 no. It wasn't until maybe a couple of hours later where I was like, oh, this smells good, but I, I just, it, even now, I don't smoke, but if I did, I would be smoking out the window thinking about this fragrance and the price and I like it, but I don't. I just, I don't know. But uh, some of the notes in here, it has some Amalfi lemon, some Tajet, some black currant, African orange. It has some jasmine. Some vetiver. Doesn't it sound like it was? It's gonna be a just a amazing scent, and just no. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if I should give it another try. I've I've been trying, guys. Look, you you can you see the little den? I've been trying. I don't know. Comment down below how you feel about Ball the Freak, if you own a sample, if you own it. I know a huge portion of the fragrance community loves this fragrance, and I'm still on the fence, and I'm just so disappointed that I just didn't fall madly in love with it. So, yeah, Ball the Freak, very disappointed, but I'm still undecided. I There's a part of me that just wants to give this fragrance one more try. I'll let you guys know what happens with Ball to Freak, but let's move on to the next one. These last two. Woo. I had to take a deep breath. The presentation of both of these fragrances, you know how when you first meet somebody and they put their best foot forward and they just present themselves to be so so great and you're getting so excited and you're like oh i think this might be the one baby i think i might have a winner and then you get to know them and you're like whoa well where did you come from that's how i feel about these two especially this this one i'm about to mention now alien goddess I am sorry to all of you guys who love this fragrance, but it was so disappointing to me, this fragrance. Like, the ad campaign for this fragrance, Willow Smith, she's all bronze and goddess up, and she's beautiful looking like the goddess she is. Just an amazing young lady. And then the notes in here, guys, it has some coconut water, bergamot, jasmine, heliotrope, bourbon, vanilla, and cashmere. I said to myself, girl, you're about to smell like a whole goddess with this fragrance. You, you're just about to, you're about to get it in. Blind bought it and everything. Didn't watch not one review. Not one because I did not want to be tainted by people's opinion. I wanted to experience the goddess alien was supposed to be. And I got it, y'all. And my good Lord, was I disappointed. Nothing like, there was no alien DNA. It didn't capture the persona of Willow Smith. It just smelled like something that I've already had. I was deeply disappointed and I couldn't return it because I had already um, sprayed it. So I stuck with it. And I just was, just the disappointment in my heart with this fragrance is unreal. And if this was a person I was in a relationship with, forget smoking out the window. I think I would have snapped and been like Jasmine Sullivan and bust the windows out somebody's car. Not really, but I'm, we're just using music as examples here, okay? But it just wasn't a great fit for me at all. To all of you guys who love it, I'm so happy you do. 
And just for like someone who's not into fragrances, I'm sure you will love this. Like if I gave this to one of my daughters, they would absolutely love it. But for me, it was a no dog. It, it was a no. I, I just truly disappointing fragrance for a uh, fragrance purchase in 2021. Last fragrance guys, nice short video. We're almost done. Um, K. Alley's invite only. So disappointing, so disappointing. And I see a lot of YouTubers talk about this fragrance, but like in a good way that they love it. But Mona, I'm sorry if you ever watch this video. I love a lot of your fragrances, but this one is not one of them. And I actually tried so so hard to give this fragrance a chance I really did and it just there was it was too strong I feel like it was too masculine and maybe it was the tobacco patchouli honey mix I don't know but it just it did not work for me at all and I returned it to uh, Sephora I, and I just hear people talk about it in their gourmand videos and all that but i feel like maybe this would be a great candle or um i would love to smell it on a man but on me no it, it did not work i definitely this would be this is one of those fragrances where i'm like how could you do this to me because i had such high hopes for this Y'all, that new K. Alley is out too. And I brought a sample of it this time instead of purchasing the bottle because I was burned by uh, invite only. So um, I just got the little sample bottle to see how I feel about it. And I'm definitely going to let you guys know. But um, it was disappointing to say the least. So yeah, I hope you guys don't take offense to this. This is actually just a fun way of me letting you guys know that these fragrances didn't work for me in 2021. If you guys have any fragrances that didn't work for you in 2021, comment down below. Let me know uh, what those fragrances are or if you have these fragrances and you think that I'm smoking something right now, let me know. Comment down below if you love these uh Fragrances, look, y'all, um, if I can find a video, I'm going to link it down below. I watch um, it, From Abby with Love, or I think she just changed it to Abby with Love, and her husband was rating her videos and his, I mean, her, um, some of her fragrances, and his reaction to Invite Only was priceless. Oh, my gosh, that was like the funniest video <laughs> I have watched this year in terms of fragrances. I loved it. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. Please be safe out there this holiday season. Uh, I hope you are enjoying it. And remember how much you are loved, blessed, and highly favored by God and how beautiful you are. And until I see you guys next time, bye.